So today we're finally going to be reacting to the adapt video. You know, he posted this a few days ago. I did watch it, but I shouldn't have watched it. Though. I should have waited for the reaction, but I'm not going to lie and act like this is my first time. He responded to, you know, my video that I posted on us, everything he's heard. And, you know, he spoke about his feelings and everything to do with the FaZe Clan drama. And there was a couple of things I did want to address because, you know, I don't feel like it's necessarily fair and I want him to understand that. And I know that he will regardless of how he feels because I know he's trying to do what's better for FaZe and better for all of us in general. But let's just watch if you guys haven't seen this already. So I'm sure by now everyone has seen what's going on with FaZe Clan just across the internet and also what's going on between me and Norden. So let's talk about it. And um, honestly, I was trying to avoid making this video for as long as I could, but now at this point, I feel like I have to speak on it. Um, and I also just have to stand up for myself. But for starters, obviously, there's a lot of problems with FaZe Clan. There's a lot of problems inside the company, outside the company. Things that if it were up to me, I would handle differently. But it's not up to me. It's never been up to me. There's conversations that happen, decisions that get made that I'm not in the room for, that I'm not a part of. Um, I'm not a founder, right? I've never been a founder. I'm not even able to Even something move. like that too. Like remember, even us, like I told you guys, that's why I made the point to say that I didn't even know about the Disney stuff. We don't even fully get to know things sometimes. The way that they try to like hide and keep information, whether it's for them just to feel like they have some sort of power trip and they get to know stuff and gatekeep certain stuff, or if it's about certain control so that we don't actually ask on certain details of the deal and how those work out. Whatever it may be, there's a ton of reasons to why they might happen. People have like such a misconception of how much we actually, as like the founders, like me, Tommy Banks, and Apex have on the company. They keep us out of stuff too. Actually, us so we don't actually change anything about the play, which is super annoying. It's obvious to see why they've done what they've done. Lack of transparency, all that. You already know. I've been saying that the whole time. Like if I knew and I was aware of all this and it happened and I let it happen, then yeah, I guess I'm to be blamed for that. But a lot of the time we don't know anything. Most of the time we don't know anything. So it's like they keep us out of the loop on purpose, you know? Move the mountains that guys like Apex, Banks, Tommy, and Norton can, and that's fine. More a boulder, not a mountain. Don't get it twisted, but I feel you. But in my eyes, I'm looking around and I'm trying to think, how can I help? How can I help out FaZe Clan, right? Because I love FaZe. I love this brand. I love what we've built over the years. It's such an important part of my life and has continuously been such an important part of my life for almost 10 years. I'm almost, I've almost been in FaZe for a decade, which is nuts to even think about. So obviously I care, right? This is something that I'm very passionate about. And like I said, I'm not able to make a lot of these big decisions and shift things. Oh my like God, a lot speaking of, of, he said he said a decade in FaZe. You guys saw what I posted on my Instagram story yesterday. A report that came out and said FaZe has received its deficiency warning and has until September 19th to get back in compliance with NASDAQ, right? And the date that it had was September 19th, which is the date that, you know, I joined FaZe. So that's my anniversary for FaZe. So it honestly seems as if it's programmed in the stars things are going to work out for phase just based on that uh, the founders are just other people within the company all right there's issues where can i help like what can i do where can i insert myself where i know immediately i can sort of move things in the right direction and that's through the youtube channel i feel like i know i could go help in that area so i showed up and i fought to get the youtube channel and i got it and i separated it from everything else going on i see but that's the issue brother is that you can't all right, you can't just separate that from everything else that's going on at phase. And that's like what they want is they wanted you to just go handle the YouTube and make sure that's good and pretty for them so that they can kind of just rob you in the back end. So that's what I was trying to make you understand why it's just like not good to comply with them. That's kind of the biggest issue. And my biggest thing with this whole thing is like compliance with them. Because if you feed them and you allow them to do what they do, you're just as bad as the problem. You may not realize it, but you are. Because giving them the strength to do that is why all that's happened. The same reason why I spoke about a Seabass, because I felt like he was extremely compliant and helped them deliver their agenda and everything they wanted to do. Obviously, Alex wasn't on that level. But yeah, speaking of Seabass, I actually am going to have a talk with him. And, uh, you know, hopefully if he's down to do what's better for FaZe and what's better for us going forward and just better for the brand. I'm willing to get over it, just let it go and just let it be in the past and just move on from there and just do whatever's better for the future of FaZe and the fans. That's it. Then I don't care anymore. But yeah, so we'll see what happens there. On FaZe and made it so it's just me and a few phase talent that i'm reaching out to making videos having fun on the channel again right and no one else can touch it so that's the initiative i took right that's me trying to do my small part and helping out phase because i feel like i'm good at that i also feel like it's important and i'm getting attacked for it i'm getting made out to feel like i'm wrong for trying to help in that way so i guess now this is where i can transition the video into Norton talking about him and well I just explained that part where he's saying the attack for that's like why and some of the things he said because everyone knows how close me and Norton have been over the years and we always kind of stuck by each other's side that's why this shit just hurts to tell you the truth genuinely it hurts because we disagreed we had a disagreement right he called me and he was like yo uh I want to make this video exposing FaZe Clan airing everything out fuck it I want you to be in it and I said no I said I don't want to do that I feel like there's 
better ways we could go to deal with these problems and these issues, more constructive ways of showing up and dealing with these things. And um, we disagreed. Just to make it clear what we disagreed on, it was the fact that he was gonna make a video about it because I didn't think that was gonna help anyone. I didn't think that was the way. I thought there was more constructive ways of showing up and trying to fix things. Because me and Norton have talked about a lot of these problems before and we share a lot of the same opinions and some of the stuff he says I agree with. It just was, I just disagree with how he went about it. And that's fine, right? Friends disagree all the time. Friends even argue they I will say though, I mean, it was about that obviously, but it wasn't necessarily, I didn't even ask him to be in the video like that. I just wanted him to have a scene so people believed that it wasn't just me that was saying these things and other people believed that. But at the time I was hearing, he was also telling people like what I was doing for the video and I felt like he was on there, so I'd given them info or whatnot. But that turned out not to be true. So that one, it wasn't even like the main reason to like why I was upset with him. It was something else that had to do with some more personal shit that happened after. Again, same thing, like people, it's a telephone game, man. People just say one thing, oh, he heard it from this person, he heard it from this person and then like problems happen. But hey, but everyone sees now, it is honestly the best thing that I went public. Cause I always knew that this being transparent with the fans, letting them know what's good with this will stop them from doing this in the future because people know. And now that everyone sees like, look how much the community wants this for us. Look how much the community wants phase back and us to be in charge. Mr. B, Steven tweeting about it. Like everyone cares for us to actually be in control of this again. I think it's amazing for the storyline. I think it's all a really good thing. I think it's so good for phase. So I, I personally do think that, you know, Going public is always the way with certain with certain things, right? Like family stuff, of course, keep that out. But like corporate corruption, like people should know, like regardless whether you care about me, if you hope I go broke for the rest of my life, hope I never get anything for the rest of my life, whatever, you can still agree that like you want to know how these things work. Just out of curiosity, just a general understanding of the world and what's around us and how everything really works. You got to remember what you see on media, all this shit's a lie, bro. Everything's a lie. And they lie to you guys. They paint it a certain way. They make it seem a certain way, but it's not the truth. So I'm always here to break all that shit down. But don't kill me time, one day, I would have still supported him like I always have nothing would have changed he took it to a really hateful place coming at me saying like some very wild shit you know shit that he knows about me and i will I, give him that he he didn't, i don't think he talked shit to me at all i was, it was just me talking straight shit bro so i feel but i was definitely like mad hurt emotional and that's something i hope that he understands that i obviously i'm emotional about it too i was upset about it too but i never brought up how i felt like that i just brought up what things were I never actually brought up like my emotions towards, but of course I feel the same way, bro. I've yeah. been through and you know, sort of using it against me and I'm not trying to get too into detail. I was like, oh, bet. Like we have a disagreement, we argue and you want to take it here with me? After everything we've been through, this is the place you're gonna go? All right, bet. We're not talking no more. Nah, it's done, it's a dub. And um, it didn't, but it didn't stop there. He kept attacking me and my character and what I stand for and who I am and to tell you the truth, it just hurts. You know, it hurts because it came from one of my best friends, someone who I've been the closest with for the longest. And like I said, we stopped talking up until a few days ago. We actually had sat back on the phone and I heard him out and we chopped it up a little bit. Um, and I kind of am understanding where he comes from or, or was coming from but that doesn't make it just disappear. The shit he said really digs deep and the way he went about it, um, deeper than he probably even realized. What's up with the camera? I was shaking so much. I really think that when me and him get together, which I really think me and him will this weekend and he'll probably make a video when I want him to. Um, I just know, bro, when I see him in person, he's gonna get it, he's gonna get over it. Like I've known this dude for so fucking long, bro. So I know he's not gonna hold against him. He's just, oh, I see it, Alex. He's not actually that butthurt. He just wants to be butthurt, but he's it's hard not. hard for me to sit here and imagine a world where like- <laughs> No, I know he's hurt. We're both hurt and I get it, but I just know that when he sees me, he sees us the way I like, I'm not, I was gonna say the way I look at him. I'm not trying to get all like that, but I'm just saying like, you know, in the way like our energy, the chemistry we've always had, like he's gonna get over it. I know it's like, he's gonna understand it for what it is. As long as the, the people get that mean him, we'll forever be brothers and we will always love each other. I think everything's gonna be all fine because I didn't never wanted to make this video to backtrack or go back or seem like oh well I don't I don't agree with the way he did this it's not about that right I'm not backtracking I just want everything to be okay and I want our relationship to be good I want everything with Faze to be good that's all I care about I know that's all he cares about so I know everything's gonna be good good again we just pick it back up where we left off I mean maybe there's there's a way we could sit down and chop this up the right way maybe there's a way shut up we're but fucking I don't know. sitting it's down hard for me to shut even maybe there's a see way that right now because I don't really know. <laughs> how we move forward like i saw his video we talked on the phone i i appreciate that he's apologetic and he's sorry but it's still it that shit it's hard to just like pick things up well, right pick it up bitch After real shit knowing like how how 
that got dealt with. I don't know. We'll see. No, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'll, but I just know him. You know, it's different. But some people might be like, "Wow, I'm hurt." Like, get offended for him as if you know, like our relationship or how he feels. I know, like, I know what he's saying, or whatever. But I'm telling you, you'll see. You'll see when there's a video. Things are going to be great. I know there. I just know the connection me and him have with each other. And I know that he knows as long as that I fully understand what I did and the way I hurt him. And he fully understands the way that he hurt me and what he did. We're ready to move forward ready to squash everything. We've dealt with stuff before. We've beefed over dumb shit before. It happens. This is what brothers do, right? Where it goes from here. But right now, it's just I, I, I can't really sit here and be like, all right, love. Just wanted to come on here and speak openly oh, and freely about what how i feel about this whole that, situation King. and what's As going on from my perspective so also i just want to say i love you guys uh thank oh, you I to the you ones who've been rocking with me and supporting me oh, yeah. over the years and constantly showing love it means a lot more than you would ever know and um i really hope that the next time we speak it's under better circumstances i know it and will be. that uh we can figure this out like i said because right now this is not it's just not it right now Oh, damn. Just like that? Okay. Well, Alex, I hear you, bro. But again, I'm very confident when I see him, a lot of things will change. The way he'll feel will change. In, in terms of like just thinking that, like, oh, I don't know if I'll get over it. I know he will. I know he will. Because at the end of the day, he knows that it's his words, what I said to him at the end of the day. No, I didn't actually mean anything I said to him. And it was more just a circumstantial, you know, situation of everything that was going on. And he understands like everything that I was going through. But yeah, stay tuned for his video. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I love you guys so much. Please leave a like if you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next videos. We're going on chat. Peace, rain. Keep it real, motherfuckers. I'll see y'all later. Peace.